to kill. No, the phone slowing down time when open was intended. It would be, it would be pretty darn hard killing birds in the real time. So controls, move, arrows, shoot, left click, show bone, right click. Uh, quick intro to the code. Objects are displayed as name, position X, position Y, rotation. Feel free to alter the values. Walk the ring guide. If you're interested, here's the time lapse. I want to say I'm interested, and I am interested, but this takes priority, especially after deep scan. <laughs> uh, Nextopia, I'll extract that in the meantime. We should take a moment and look at uh, the chat. That's a good point. I've got it. Snowman Land is great name. It is. All right. So we'll try to see if we can play it on good. Uh, the the window is guaranteed to at least show at all times. There we go. Am I playing this one? Yes. Okay. Here we are. Coded hunt. Press A to begin. I will then. Mother says, yo son, the shops be closed, so you're gonna have to get Christmas dinner in the woods. Find two chickens or whatever bird, okay? Alright, mother. You've taught me so much about grammar and other things throughout the course of my life that I will follow your instructions. It sounds like you have to move stuff, man. Yeah, so, let's see here access so this will be I'm guessing I need to change one of these but kill it rock ground community place twig but this is like crazy horse name <laughs> I could move this rock okay so when you mouse over an object that shows you which what its ID is. But here. what does it That's correspond good. to? That's Rock 3. So I could probably move Rock 3 such that I could maybe use it to jump onto to get it past this horse. Or maybe I could just totally jump this horse. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm guessing that's not intended. So I'm gonna move I'm gonna move Rock 3. But again I don't quite know the world position, so this will involve some trial and error. Okay, so 12.5, let's move it. Let's move it to 11.5. Woo! Not 12.15. Let's not do that. 11.5. Oh. <laughs> I think the uh, numpad is disabled. Try that again. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, Enter, I guess. Right click. Okay, I don't quite know how to get my change to take effect. I'm going to try to change this to something more drastic. Zero. Yeah, I guess. Let's try zero. Uh, We're experiencing lag. Um, that's just the slowdown, I think, that the person mentioned when you're in the phone interface. Okay, so you leave the phone interface and then your changes take effect. So now, let's try to use... Okay, I'm going to put down my earbuds. <laughs> Holding earbuds in one hand, which is not the most conducive to... Oh. It doesn't sound like there's any sound effects anyways. I thought I could climb this, but... All right. Now you can. <laughs> uh, whoa. Okay. Well, I don't really know if moving that rock had anything to do with me getting past that obstacle, but let's just keep on strolling here and try to find our Christmas dinner, like Mom told us we should. Uh, Can you shoot your gun? I don't know. Was there, were there controls for that in the description? 
Oh, I get it now. Yeah, have you had a breakthrough? Throwing throwing rocks at birds. Oh, that's so. Yes, right. Mom told us to just get a bird to eat for Christmas dinner. You gotta Whatever kill two bird. birds with one stone, man. Oh, okay. Do I have the coding powers to kill two birds with one stone? <laughs> Not often in my daily game development life, but okay, cool. So this is starting to make some sense. So we need to take oh, right. You take rock four, just put it at like twenty point two, and much higher than it is now. Let's say eighteen. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! Totally kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Multiple open and close of the phone, but all right. Yes, positive reinforcement. Stick. Guess what? Your what cousins animal? have decided to visit. Bring back a horse, would ya? Oh, and I have to kill <coughs> a horse, man. Uh, this is not how. Christmas dinner traditionally goes for me, but <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, okay, so stick rifle enabled at the top of your code to arm yourself. Very well. I will do so. Um, I don't know if it actually needs to be in single quotes like that. Nope. I have successfully murdered a horse <laughs> on Christmas. My dream has come true. My the the sound effect for victory, the last tone uh, the last note is really annoying. It's very long and insane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I like the graphics. This this is very unique and very stylish graphics, in my opinion. Ooh, this so is as far as I got in eight hours. <laughs> Feel free to run around. All right, I'll run around and shoot some things. <laughs> this has a very Oregon Trail. Uh, this is like you know, I think you could market this as Oregon Trail. You know, three thousand thirty-five, whatever Techno Future edition. Um, I definitely thought this was very innovative. I, I like the direction in which all the things go. See see how many of these bullets we can spawn before the game starts to... Please don't. I think our Twitch stream is going to hate us. <laughs> yeah, very well. Good. Uh, all Good. right, all the way up on the upper right hand corner there. All right. Well then, this was Coded Universe by Peter Thihi. <laughs> Thihi. <laughs> Apologies to you for probably butchering that pronunciation. <laughs> Probably the most realistic interpretation of Kangol Horse with a shotgun <laughs> in the snow I have ever seen. Yes, I have to say, of the many times that I've gone onto my phone, written some code to make a gun appear, <laughs> then used to kill a horse on Christmas, that was uh, the most realistic <laughs> game interpretation of that experience that I think is universal. I think we've all, you know, been there. I know. So uh, it's nice to actually finally have a game that, you know, reflects. I killed a truck with it at one point. <laughs> These common experiences that we've gone through. <laughs> um, well then, okay. Uh, so once again, I'm not going to start with overall. So for innovation, um, I found that to be quite innovative. Um, again, uh, you had a cold too. Remember that <laughs> exactly. And, and done with a cold, so bonus <laughs> points to all categories for that. Um, to be that innovative with a cold is really <laughs> that's extra impressive. So. Um, yeah, I, I found it to be quite innovative. We talked at the beginning about some other games that we're at least aware of that kind of try to replicate the experience of programming in some way. Um, Quadrilateral Cowboy being one current example. Um, Space Chem people often reference as being analogous to programming in some ways. Um, it's Zach Bart. It's definitely programming. Yeah. Um, but I think... Uh, I actually, uh, he used to be one of our uh, game RPI game dev uh, officers, so that's why I say, mm -hmm. yeah. I know that for a fact. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to rate it quite highly in terms of innovation, um, despite you know there being some other games that have done this too. Um, Are you rating it equal to Mobius Dungeon? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think um, you know. Obviously, you could see that there were there was more stuff that, as far as like features, that things you could code mm -hmm. that could have kind of taken in a different direction. As it stands, because of the kind of 
you know, it was only kind of changing positions and basically toggling on this flag to give you the gun. So I think the actual implementation, um, you know, obviously had some time constraints where it maybe fell short of, mm -hmm. I'm sure many of the other ideas that the creator had uh, as far as making the coding interface have some more variety to what it could do. So yeah, I'm gonna put it at four stars rather than five, but it was quite an innovative uh, concept, for sure. Um, fun, you know, <laughs> the I like the kind of goofy presentation of like your mother giving you this completely grammatically atrocious <laughs> instructions about go kill a bird on Christmas. Um, yeah, most of the fun that I derived from it had to do with um, just the goofiness of the presentation and killing two birds with one stone was good fun. Um, so yeah, I, I'll give it a three for fun. Um, it's kind of in the mid-range of the ones that I've played so far. Uh, theme, entire game on one screen. Uh, yeah, again, like I like the idea of, you know, I mean, I'm interpreting this as being, you know, the phone screen where you're able to affect everything about the world through that interface. Um, so that's a cool interpretation of the theme, I think. Uh, yeah, really. yeah I'll, I'll give it five for a theme. Graphics. Um, <laughs> it was an interesting style. Uh, yeah, kind of, you know, really simple and minimalist but appealing. So I, I liked it. I tend not to be too picky on graphics, so um, we'll go with four stars for graphics. Audio um, was okay. It had some slightly annoying choices in the sound design, as Taro pointed out. The that sustained, That's you know, fine. electric. <laughs> Anthony would give it a five, but me, being the, the evil person that I am, I'm going to give it a three for audio. Um, humor. I wouldn't call it evil. <laughs> humor. I thought it was very funny. Um, I'll go ahead and give it five. Yeah, for humor. It's one of the few games where it actually had. He actually had a funny premise, and I had a good laugh with it yeah. myself. Killing that horse, <laughs> and uh, at the behest of your mother, who speaks like a, you know, inter cool. internet troll, basically, uh, was good. It's good, good internet quality. troll. Yeah. Mood, um, it put me in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very interesting mood, for sure. I'll give it a form for mood. Um, overall... Uh, you know, it's sitting in the kind of three, four range for me. Um.